Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this new video, it's in collab with six very talented ladies. I'll be leaving their links down in the description box so you guys can check out their channels and let them know that I send you. As you can tell by the title, we are doing a no craft spending challenge. So I'm going to be doing several DIYs using things I already had in my craft room. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Should be trying something new, but now my body's sick. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark. It's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it cost. For the first DIY, I'm going to be rubbing some acetone on the back of the sign where it says aim to inspire and just scrape it off. Another time, another place, I just know. Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face But it feels like it will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I Once I was done painting the candle holder, I added this blessed wall sticker that I had in the center of the sign. To give it a little more detail, I'll be adding these rub-on transfers on each side. Now I'm going to just make a simple bow with this burlap ribbon I had and I'll be putting it together with a zip tie and to cover the center I'm going to be using some twine. I'm also going to be adding these lavender floral I had on each side in the back of the bow. Now I'm going to be adding the bow on the center top of the sign. But if you only close up on For the second DIY, I'm just adding some wood beads all over this candle holder I got from the Dollar Tree. How you talked in your sleep. We had plans and it was your biggest dream. To cover the color of the wood beads, I decided to use this silver metallic spray paint. Now I'm going to be adding some ivory chalk paint all over the beads and the candle holder. Once the chalk paint was done drying, I had also sanded it down. I just had accidentally deleted that clip. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just going to be adding some lamiers and some pink roses. For the last and final DIY, I started off by spray painting the craft sticks with some ivory spray paint. Now I'm going to be staining the 6x8 wood frame I had. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life. I did a lot of fighting. Once the craft sticks and the wood frame were done drying, I'm going to be using the back of the frame and I'm going to be adding them one by one. Um, but basically, I'm stacking one on top of the other. I, am. I have never felt Till you entered my door And from that moment I knew that a home is whatever you choose This is how I ended up looking once I was done adding all the craft sticks. I decided to use these seed planters that I have bought from last year at the Dollar General but I've seen them as well at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be cutting it in half and I also went and spray painted it with some metallic spray paint. This is how I ended up looking once it was done drying and I'm just going to be simply adding it with some hot glue onto the center of the sign. Now I'm going to be filling it in with some lavender greenery I also just had around the house. Many years have For the last and final DIY, I started off by spray painting the bowl and the candle holder with a ivory spray paint. To put it together, I used some E6000. At this point, I thought the white looked a little bit too simple, so I decided to use some chalk paint, which was the color Elephant in the brand Waverly. To fill it up, I ended up using some lavender greenery I had. Now I'm going to be adding some ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree all over the bowl. The best thing I did and I want you to know was
Okay guys, so this is the finishing look. I really hope y'all enjoyed this no spending challenge. Also, don't forget to check out my friends. I'll be leaving their links down in the description box so you guys can check out their channels and let them know that I send you. With all of that said, I hope y'all have a great day and God bless.